family. This is going to be a general love reading for um, water signs. So I have my, oops, I have my Lightseer's Hero and I have my Whispers of Love deck. I have my Heal Yourself reading cards and where's my other deck? Oh, this one. My Lemurian Love Oracle. We're just going to go ahead and dive right in. And this is going to be a general love reading for water signs. It might not resonate with everybody, but it's going to resonate with somebody. And if you are here, then this reading is probably for you. Okay. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. What do we got for our beautiful water signs? So that would be Scorpio, Cancer. So for water sign, I'm missing. I always do that. <laughs> Pisces. <laughs> All right. Hold on. One second. Okay, we're back. Sorry, I had to fix my camera angles. Give me a double chin. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Water signs. What do our beautiful water signs need to know? What do the twin souls need to know? And keep in mind, I'm a twin soul reader, so if you are here, then this reading is for you, and you are a twin soul. If you have been guided here, then this reading is definitely for you, and you are a twin soul, or a twin flame. All right. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages for our ancestors, for our star family. Before I start, I just wanted to go ahead and say a huge thank you to those of you who have already donated to my cause. Um, as you know, I've been posting on my Facebook and also on my Instagram that my best friend, Chrissy Small, had a fire on November 13th and she lost her home and everything, all of her possessions, even her um, all of her cards, her credit cards, her ID, everything. Um, she also had a pet bird, which was sadly transitioned in the fire. So um, I have been trying to raise money for uh, Chrissy and her small son. She has a son named Hunter, who's 10. So if you go on my Facebook or on my Instagram, there is a post and you can donate straight to the link or you can donate and then contact me about getting a reading because all of the readings that I'm doing for this month, unless, you know, you purchase a reading from me on my channel, um, I'm doing donation based readings. So anytime you donate anything, whether it's a dollar, 25 cents, you know, $10, $8, it doesn't matter. I will give you a reading if you'd like, and I will answer any questions that you might have um, in that reading. So for those of you that have already donated, thank you so much. You were so loved and blessed beyond belief. And sorry, I'm a little bit out of breath. I was <laughs> just running around crazy today. So, all right, you know how we do it, Spirit. We're going to get some cards out and rock and roll. Water signs. It's really hot in here. I don't know why the fan's off. I'm going to have to turn it back on one second. Okay, so we have Queen of Swords. Right off the bat, we have Divine Feminine Energy coming through. Ooh, two Divine Feminine Energies. I mean, it's, it's, it's Divine Feminine Energy. It's... It's not two Divine Feminine Energies. It is the Divine Feminine's Energy is what I'm trying to get at. But we have two Divine Feminines that just came out. Excuse me. I just ate some fish earlier. Okay, so y'all know I'm a pescatarian. Don't eat any red meats. I just eat fish, vegetables. 
All right, so we have the Hierophant. It came out in reverse. So <laughs> there's already this feeling that's coming out. A divine feminine um, who's sort of detached, cold. Um, <laughs> this energy of she's not worried about her love life. She's sort of doing her own thing. Um, she is... She is very much um, into her goals, planning for her future. She's trying to weigh out her options. Um, and the Hierophant Reverse is showing me that um, she may not be... I, I wanted to say like ready for commitment, but that's not... That's not really what it is. It's like, so it's kind of like, she's not ready until she is. Does that make sense? So it's, what they're saying to me is like, so basically the energy is if she's not worried about her, um, her love life or committing to anyone right now, but there's this energy like, I'm, I'm doing my own thing, but if if the right person came in and wanted to commit to me that 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 m maybe she might be ready to commit because the energy of the hierophant you know represents commitment marriage um all of those things and but the hierophant in reverse is sort of like someone that values their freedom and um they don't uh they're not uh oh god spirit help me out here they're not tied down to the general um, societal uh, values of a relationship. Does that make sense? Like, they wouldn't be the type of person that's like, oh, I'm so ready to get married. Like, they would be more like, uh, I'm not sure that that's what I really want in my life. But um, they're, they're kind of a free spirit. Does that make sense? Okay. There you go. Let's just... All right, let's keep going. And I'll, I'll show you the cards here in a minute. I just want to get more. Can you tell me why we have the Hierophant in reverse, please, Spirit? I just want to make sure that I am on the right energy timeline that I'm feeling, please. Why do we have the Hierophant in reverse, please? Why do we have the Hierophant here, please? So why do we have the Hierophant here, please? Wow. See, we have the lovers. So yes, I see. So exactly what I was saying. So she is open to love. She's just, um, she's not willing to settle for anyone that, that is not going to come in this correct, um, energy. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. So yes, we see the queen of swords. See, this is, this is a divine feminine energy who is, she stands in her power. She knows her worth. She's done all the work on herself. You know, she may listen to affirmations. She may um, practice like detachment. You see how she's kind of got almost a, a very cold type demeanor. But that's the thing. If you if you read about the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords, yes, she's very detached emotionally, but she's really not. She's very good at detaching herself because she feels so deeply so she almost has to detach because once she gives in and her heart is in I mean she goes in with both feet in does that make sense and the queen of swords is always fair in her judgments like she's she's not the type of person that's just gonna you know judge someone based on you know um silly things like she has she's a fair um queen so when she, when you, when you call upon her for her judgments or her um, opinions, she's very fair because she leads with her head equal to her heart, okay? And then we have the two of wands. So again, the divine feminine looking out. This is two wands. So it could be two options. So literally this could be a divine feminine trying to weigh out two options in the love department or, you know, trying to figure out, I mean, this is a love reading, but it could be other options like, you know, whether to fall in love or focus on her job or whether to 
move to this house or to this other house or you know it's just weighing some options out honestly it feels like though a divine feminine trying to weigh options as like location wise like maybe i see the globe here and i see the i have my light on so you guys can see the globe and the excuse me this fish is not selling well i'm i'm just i keep releasing and the van sort of gives me this feeling of like traveling, right? So maybe trying to decide whether, where she's going to settle down or relocate. Then we have the Hierophant Reverse, and we already went over that. Um, but do you, see, do you see the energy of this card? It's like, you know, Divine Feminine is, she's kind of in this really peaceful space. Um, you know, this it's a Divine Masculine, and he's meditating you know, but, you know, this whole energy has been divine feminine energy. We got two, you know, cards with a divine feminine on it. So she's sort of in this state of like, um, peacefulness and calm. And she's not letting any drama into her circle. We have the lovers and that came out right with this one. So look, if the right one comes along with the right energy, then yes, it's all for this. You know, there's all this, there could be, um, happy ending whatever you know like fairy tale whatever not fairy tale we, we don't we're on about the fairy tale but <laughs> you know what i mean though okay so let's pull let's get three more cards here and we're gonna move on but basically so she's waiting for the the right counterpart she's not just gonna settle this look at this beautiful goddess she's not just gonna settle for any tom dick or harry you know he has to come correct i mean look She's standing in her power. She's got her goddamn sword. And she's like, okay, well, my sword is down. But don't think that it won't go back up if you come with the wrong shit, right? You know? She's aware of her power fully. Three more cards, spirit. Three more cards, please. Thank you for allowing me to declare Shanna for source messages. We have the chariot. Woo! See? So, again, this energy of traveling... So for some of you divine feminines, your divine masculine might live a ways away from you. My beautiful water signs. Two of swords. Wow, you are definitely trying to make some kind of decision that is very important to you. We got the decision card again. So I feel like there's this, look, with the two of swords, she's blind. She's got this blindfold on, right? And there's this energy of not knowing the next step. But her guides are communicating to her. She's got true ravens here, look, that are communicating the right answers to her. These are her spirit guides, the winged ones. You know, winged ones are angels, um, birds, um, spirit animals, and totems with wings or, you know, cherubs, angels, that type of winged one guidance, okay? So some of you have a really strong connection to angels and some of you have a really strong connection to ravens, birds, any type of birds, crows, and they're bringing you answers that you need, okay? All right, so we have a five of cups. I'm not quite sure what that's about, but look, there's this energy, there's the chariot. So again, it's traveling somewhere. Um, there's a divine masculine on here. And also on the Hierophant and the Lover's card. So, and God, isn't that funny? It went from, look, the Lover's card to the Chariot. So it's the next stage of the journey. So it's going from Lovers to moving forward. So. A decision being made in love. Moving forward from the lovers to something. Feels like it starts out casual, maybe a friendship, and turns into something else. Here's the deal. There's This is the Five of Cups, which came out next, though. So we have to figure out if this is the Five of Cups, if this is something happening in the future, or if this is like past energy. So why do we have the Five of Cups here, Spirit? Tell me more about this Five of Cups, please. And then we're going to wrap this up, please, Spirit. Tell me why we have this Five of Cups here, please. Ooh, that flew out. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Hold on one second. Okay. So the card that flew out. Sorry about that, guys. It took me a long time to find it. So this is the card that flew out. It's the Knight of Wands. Now, 
I asked why we had the Five of Cups and they gave us the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is fire sign energy, right? Um, so Leo, Aries, Sag, Sagittarius. Um, here's the warning that's coming with this lover's card and making the decision. Spirit is asking right now you not to rush into, into any decisions. You're going to want to consult your head and your heart because here's the thing. The Knight of Wands is about rushing into decisions without really thinking things through. Knight of Wands is fast moving energy very quickly. You know, it's, I mean, it's fire sign energy. So it's really sort of not thinking things through, sort of being spontaneous. Like Sagittarius is, I know, is famous for being <laughs> really, um, spontaneous they sort of jump into things with both feet without sometimes thinking things through so and not all fire signs are like that right so i'm not you know i'm not stereotyping any sign but here's the thing spirit is saying take your time because if you do not take your time there is a chance that there could be this energy of the five of cups which is like heartbreak or illusion hold on i think my light just one second sorry i thought my blue light filter came on all right um also this there's two different messages they're giving me. So this is also the energy of the divine feminine. So they're saying as well that be careful divine feminine because if you decide to stay in this energy of heartbreak and holding on to the past and you do not decide to make the decision to open yourself up to these energies that are coming in, this love energy right here. You're spending a lot of time holding back your emotions when instead you should be flowing with those feelings and those emotions. Don't last, don't let any past heartbreak or anything you experience with any other divine feminine or, you know, um, less than in love hold you back from your perfect peace because even though I see that you're experiencing peace within yourself, I see also that you're a little bit afraid to let someone in. And if you stay in this energy, then, you know, it, it can, it's going to lead to heartbreak either way, whether you let someone in or you don't let someone in, you know, not letting someone in is, is not going to protect your heart and it's not going to protect you from heartbreak. Okay. This, you know, spirit is showing me that you have this, it's a divine masculine that wants to come in and wants to, you know, start something up with you right but because you're in this energy of not sure that you want to commit sort of being in the past um this divine masculine is really trying to move forward and with this you and this queen of swords energy you know you have to let go of trying to control the situation and allow your heart to follow in lead with your head does that make sense okay we're moving on spirit all right. Whew. Okay, so we, let's, what do we move on to? Let's go on to the Whispers of Love. All right, so what do we got? Whispers of Love. It's 1818 on my clock, on my camera. All right, what do we got for, move a little bit closer here. What do we have for our water signs? Thank you, Spirit. It's been a beautiful reading. What do we got for our water signs here? What do we got for our water signs, please? What else do our water signs need to know, please, Spirit? What else do our water signs need to know? What do our water signs need to know? Let's do one card from here, please, Spirit. One card. <laughs> Flu. All right, focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. So this card is about, first of all, it's number 24. So if you add it up, it's six. Six is the number of, of spirituality, a spiritual awakening, and it's also the number of family. So um, spirit is saying with this card that if we focus on the good in everyone instead of trying to focus on the negative things that we think think we imagine in people then those positive traits that we focus on are going to amplify now what you know what we've all heard it been told that what wherever you place your focus is 
where what's going to multiply. So if you focus on the bad, then the bad's going to multiply. If you focus on the good, then the good's going to be amplified, right? And the good will multiply. So they're asking that you focus on love. If you want love, if you want to attract love into your life, water signs, then it's time that you focus on love. And mainly focus on love in yourself. Because once you focus on love in yourself, I promise you, everything will fall into place. And you will be able to listen to the voice of your heart. Look at that beautiful energy. And, you know, it's about being fierce and trusting in yourself. She's talking to a dragon. She's not afraid. She is conversing with a dragon. There's no fear. There's no, I'm scared the dragon's going to bite me. The dragon might... The dragon might, ooh, you know, spit fire on me. No, she's calm. She's collected. She's facing the dragon with love. Where, What dragon are you facing with love today, my beautiful water signs? All right, let's go on to your Heal Yourself card. And then we'll end this final, um, we'll, we'll end with a final message from your person using my Lemurian Love deck that I created as always, if you would like to purchase my Lemurian Love deck, it's um, the link is always in the description box below. It's um, available for purchase on my Etsy shop. It was on sale for $30 um, last month. I'm not sure if it's still on sale. I can go ahead and put it up for sale for, you know, Christmas is coming up. Once this deck is sold out, I will not be reproducing them anymore. And I think I only have... I want to say eight left or something. No, six. I have six left. And once they're done, they're done. I won't, I'm not going to, I will be retiring the deck. So thank you to all of you who have purchased my deck. May you all be blessed. Also, the link in my description box is going to be the link for um, the, the PayPal donation. Um, so if you want to donate to my friend's uh, donation fund for to get her and her son back on her feet. Like I said, thank you so much to all of you who have already scheduled readings with me on her behalf. And for those of you that donated, you know who you are. I love you so fiercely. All right, let's close this reading off. Let's get the last final message, spirit message for our beautiful water signs. What do we got here? After this, I will be reading for air. What do we need? What do our beautiful water signs need to know, please? Whoa, okay. We have unleash your creativity. All right, water signs. Spirit is giving you that slight kick in the ass to um, unleash your creativity. Number 31, so add it up, and it's four. Four is the number of balance and stability and also of um angel connections so some of you have a really really strong connection to your angels spirit guides again there's fire sign energy there is a furnace in the background um, on the robot see what else we're getting i thought that was i thought that was a rooster but it's not anyways i keep I don't know. I, I saw a rooster in my mind's eye. So that might mean something to someone. Rooster. I don't know. <laughs> Roosters, chickens, hens. Um, there was something else. Hold on. Okay. So there was something else coming through and I had to pause it because I wanted to um, relay what Spirit was saying. So Spirit wanted me to let you all know that um, if you are a water sign, you can also check what your rising sign or your moon sign is or even your Venus sign um, because this will also be for you if you have water in chart. Like, for example, I'm a Scorpio rising, so I have Scorpio in my chart. And that is like my main personality traits is from my Scorpio rising. But I'm a Leo sun. But yet I sort of relate... Like, I watch more Leo tarot readings when I do watch them, but sometimes I'll watch my Scorpio because my Scorpio personality is what I really show to the world. And usually, your rising sign is what you will show to the world. It's sort of your outside persona. And your sun sign is kind of like the way you process your emotions. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get your last card from your person using the mermaid, 
Lemurian duck. Let's get the final message. Excuse me, and all of my readings are timeless, so when you, whenever you find this reading, it's for you. All right, what is the last thing that their person wants them to know? The person on our beautiful water signs minds. What is the last thing their person wants them to know but cannot articulate the words to them? Pick one from the bottom and one from the top. Okay, so we have, I remember you. So they might not act like they remember you right now in the 3D, but in the 5D, their soul, as soon as they laid eyes on you, knew that you were their person. They could feel it. There was something that they never felt when some, when they, when they seen you, when they looked at you, when they laid eyes on you, when they heard your voice, whatever it was, when they connected with you, that they knew their soul remembered you. And a lot of the times with twin souls, that's what will happen. There will be this deep soul remembrance, even though, you know, they might not recognize you and their, their head might tell them something else. Their heart says, I know this person. I know this person. And you'll feel comfortable with them. You'll feel safe with them. And you'll feel a deep connection with them. And you won't understand why. And it's because you're, they're the other, the literal other half blueprints of your soul, okay? And then the last card that your person um, chose for you, my beautiful water signs, is your light leaves me in awe. So they truly see you as like a light in the dark. They're amazed by your light, the way you shine it, the way you shine your positivity and your light into the world. It literally leaves them in awe. They're like, they just, they see you as this beautiful ray of sunlight. And of course, that's what you are, my beautiful water signs. So don't you ever forget it. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I love you guys so much. Mwah. Have a good day, bunnies.